Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the question of whether you have to be Buddhist or of any specific religious affiliation in order to meditate. This is a channel where you can learn the ins and outs of mindfulness practice, get tips and tricks on meditation, and no matter what your level, where you can meditate with me. So today's topic is something that's um, really important to me and uh, something that does come up sometimes for people who are new to meditation or maybe even uh, people who wouldn't meditate because they might have this idea that they have to be of, uh, of a Buddhist tradition or of any really religion in particular or spirituality in order to practice meditation. And the answer is really absolutely not. Um, it's something that is completely available to anyone, uh, the practice of meditation, the practice of mindfulness. It's something that we might actually find ourselves engaging um, on our own, just spontaneously, even without perhaps being instructed. Um, certain times of our lives or moments in our life, we might find ourselves entering some kind of uh, focused state or meditative state. And uh, to me, what's uh, in some ways most important in this conversation and in this topic is that virtually all of the world's uh, spiritual traditions, they all have a contemplative and a mindfulness element to them. And the thing is, uh, that is something that's often been overlooked or even somewhat lost in history. But uh, my degree is in religious studies and one of the things that I was really happy to learn about is that there are uh, very deep and rich traditions of contemplative Christianity, uh, contemplative Judaism, contemplative Islam, um, contemplative Buddhism, which is in some ways uh, contemplative in its very essence and its very nature, uh, Sufism, um, Native American traditions. There are so many um, very rich and um, intricate uh, technologies and um, ways to look at what is you know the nature of our world, what is the nature of the universe, what is the nature of God. And so more than just saying that, you know, oh, meditation is for everyone, and even though in many ways Buddhism has kind of the, the deepest association with the practice of meditation, um, uh, what I really like to acknowledge is that there are absolutely um, other traditions of meditation and other forms of meditation. And if you are uh, someone who practices Christianity or Judaism or whatever it might be, that that might be something that you might want to look into on your own and, um, you know, a way that you can not only absorb what you're learning through me on the channel, but also, you know, find practices that are also aligned with your own particular spirituality as a way to deepen, deepen your connection in that way. And, you know, I'll be clear that, um, you know, the reason I am doing this video or the, the inspiration, I should say, for it is that I have a dear friend who does follow the channel. She is learning to meditate and she's also Christian. And I think that's, you know, very beautiful for people to um, try new things and to be open to new experiences. And it's just something that, you know, there's so much division and uh, strife in the world today that I like to point out whenever it's possible, you know, that there's a lot of unity and there's a lot of uh, parallels um, between, you know, human cultures and human experiences, uh, even though at face value and from what we're told in the media that, you know, it's, it's so different and there's, there's sort of nothing in common. So just wanted to make that clear for anyone maybe who's, uh, I don't know, struggling with that or might have had that as a question. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's beautiful because no matter where you're coming from, we can sit together, we can practice together, and, um, you know, we can become stronger and, um, and share beautiful things together through the practice of meditation. So, that said, uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a, of a practice. We'll meditate for two minutes today. So just taking your seat. If you're new to meditation, just remembering that you want to have an upright back, but we're not forcing our back up, we're not stiffening our back, just upright, just find a comfortable, elongated posture. And just taking a moment to find the body, to find our awareness in our legs. to feel the sensations in our stomach and our chest.
and wherever else you might be drawn to, maybe there's pain or a certain energy in your body, just feeling that for a moment. And then as we find that grounded sen se sensation, that grounded um, feeling in our body, just starting to focus on the breath. And as you breathe, with our theme today, just allowing yourself to be open to your experience. Breathing in and out. Just allow yourself to invite new life and new perspectives into your life. And if you become distracted from your breath, just gently bringing the breath back. Just bringing your focus back to the breath. And just taking one more breath here. So thank you so much for sitting with me today. I'm curious if you have a specific religious practice, uh, if you'd like to share it, I would love to hear it. And if there's any uh, type of meditation practice that you already do uh, with your religion uh, or your spirituality, you know, I'd love to hear it. And uh, if this was useful in any way, also let me know. I'm, I'm curious what your perspective is. And uh, maybe you even disagree and that's okay. I would love to hear that too. Um, that said, uh, I'm working to grow the channel, so if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I would see you in the next video. Thanks.